One of the biggest issues about the iPad is the ability to share files between uh, your Mac and your iPad. Um, there are a couple different file sharing applications out there, but the uh, best one, at least in my opinion, happens to be Air Sharing. And there's two versions. There's one for the iPhone and the iPod Touch, and there's one for the iPad called Air Sharing HD. And the reason why I like it is it's because it's pretty robust. It uses a really good file management system that um, allows you to copy files over from your Mac directly to your iPad using Apple's uh, standard file sharing uh, protocol, uh, which is pretty straightforward. If you've ever connected two Macs together, uh, you'll be familiar with using uh, a file sharing protocol on the uh, Mac and uh, it's the same process. Air sharing is an application from Avatron Software and uh, Avatron Software was nice enough to uh, give me a copy of the uh, software uh, to do this demonstration for you guys. Again there's two versions, Air sharing for the iPhone and iPod Touch and Air sharing HD for the iPad. So I'm going to quickly run you through the application for the iPad first and then I'm going to show you um, how you actually transfer files using your Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and open the application. It's called Air Sharing HD. So the first thing you see is uh, the uh, Air Sharing desktop and Air Sharing comes with a couple folders already created and that's samples, public, and documents. And it's really easy to create uh, additional folders. You just click on the plus sign over here and select a uh, new folder and we'll call this test. Save that. And we'll create another folder just to um, show you how easy it is. We'll call this uh, miscellaneous, M-I-S-C, save. And you can uh, delete folders too, so you would just click on edit and then click on the folder and you come down here and oh, wrong button sorry you come over here and you have a couple things you can do you can zip the folder you can rename it you can copy the folder you can move it duplicate it or delete it we'll go ahead and delete it asks you if you want to delete the folder you say yes so there's a lot of similarities between folder creation on uh, the iPad using air sharing that uh, you would be used to on the Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and open the folder documents. And I already have a couple documents um, in uh, the documents folder. Um, there's a pages document called air sharing and you can actually open that and it will open the document in pages so it recognizes the document and it will open it directly in pages. And that's it, basically. It's just a picture and some text. So we'll go back to Documents. And I've got another um, file in there. It's an uh, image of the Apple logo. So what I'm going to do now is transfer a file over from my MacBook Pro uh, to my iPad. And if you have ever connected two Macs together using uh, Apple's file sharing protocol, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm going to show you how this happens on the iPad first and then uh, I'll show you on the Mac. So on my Mac I've got the uh, iPad open on my desktop and I'm going to uh, transfer a file over and you guys will see that here in just a second. Let me go ahead and uh, drag this file over to my documents and when I when I transfer this file um, you'll see it show up um, you'll see another document show up here so I'm getting ready to do it right now and there it is so I'll go ahead and click on the image it was an image that I actually transfer, transferred over and I'll go ahead and click on it and it's a picture of my old iPhone so again pretty straightforward works really well and you can transfer any file you want, uh, movies, PDF files, uh, Word documents, pages documents, 
Any file that you have on your Mac, you can transfer over to your iPad using Air Sharing. You can open any document that you have on your Mac in Air Sharing. Um, just simply transfer it over. Pretty simple, and I'll show you how, guys how to do that on the Mac side. So we'll go back to Documents again. I wanted to also explain something. You can also uh, you can select a document. Here's a PDF file, for example. Uh, let's see. And if I want to uh, share that file, I can click that. And I have two options. I can print or email. If I had a printer hooked up through my network, I could print this document. Or I can email it. Um, so you can email documents on the fly as well. And you can print them if you have a printer hooked up to your network. So that's uh, Air Sharing HD um, for the uh, iPad. And I'm going to show you uh, how to actually do the file transfers from the Mac now. All right, I'm going to show you how to connect to your iPad using Air Sharing. Um, pretty straightforward. Again, if you've connected to another Mac before, it's really easy. Just click the Go menu button and go click Connect to Server. I already have the IP address of my iPad uh, in there, so I'm just going to click on Connect. And it gives me a username and password box here. So I'm going to type in the username and bring this into view so you guys can see it a little bit better. And now I'll type in the password. Now let's get the password right. Okay. And click connect. And there we go. So we've got the... Um, Air sharing, uh, well, actually, the uh, iPad shows up as a, as a disk. Air sharing is the software doing the connection between the MacBook Pro and the iPad using Apple's file sharing. So I'm going to go ahead and, and bring that into view a little bit better. And there's the six folders that I have on my iPad. Documents, movies, pictures, public samples, and tests. I'm going to open the documents folder and... There's the Apple logo that I transferred over just a minute ago, so we'll open that up. And there it is. And uh, air sharing uses um, simple um, IP protocol, so you can connect uh, via IP address, uh, via the name of your iPad, or through HTTP. So you have three different ways, just like with normal Apple file sharing. So it makes it really easy to connect to your iPad. Again, you can download Air Sharing from the Apple the App Store, and uh, again, I've been using it for six months. Great application for doing file sharing between your Mac and either your iPhone or your iPad. So thanks for stopping by, guys, and I will talk to you later.